Hello and welcome. Please excuse the printer sounds. I'm printing another foam arm fryer, this arm mounted rival blaster that uses a pull cord to fire from Sandshark Labs, super cool. But because of that, printer sounds. I've said before that I'm going to keep long form to when it's something special. And today I am going to talk to you about something that I think is kind of special because it addresses one of my main concerns whenever I'm running games. The Busby Air Warriors Easy Fire Rifle is very dear to my heart because I love that they paid special attention to making it easy to operate. I know a lot of people kind of dismiss that and I'll hear a lot of people say, oh, my two and three year old can operate a blaster, no problem. But I will tell you that is not the norm, especially with kids who are new to it or not as familiar. I run a lot of little events. It can be hard for kids to operate some blasters. So I love some attention to making it easier and we'll get into how they do that. This was sent to me by Busby. Thank you very much, Busby Toys. I am so appreciative that you would send this to me and I'm so appreciative to all of you that you care at all about my opinion. Let's open this up the old fashioned way on the channel. Hey, this is pretty big. This is pretty cool. My first impressions are, it's a bit lighter than I expected, but the size of it is very comfy. And I don't think I realized, this is an end strike attachment here, which means you can use any of your old Nerf favorites. But what I didn't realize, I didn't realize this was extendable. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. And we've teased our friends at Busby before about grips. This is a good grip. This is very sizable and very comfortable. The hand rest up here, I think is quite good. I actually don't need that stock extended all the way. It has multiple points. Kind of on that midpoint is pretty good for me. And the mag release, oh, it does have to be primed in order to eject the mag. It's funny, that's a very common thing, but that is a thing that any kids who are new to it struggle with. Adults too, they're just not used to the fact that you have to prime a blaster to then take out the mag. It doesn't help that there are some newer blasters where you don't have to do that because they use skinny pushers. That's maybe a whole other subject, but for most blasters you're buying off the shelf, a lot of them, if they're springers and use a mag, you have to prime the blaster in order to eject the mag. The cool thing about this blaster is instead of having kind of a pump to prime it down here or a retaliator style slide, which is my least favorite type of priming mechanism, having to exert all that pressure and force on just a slide grip like that is not my favorite. I prefer pump to that. But this is kind of cool because it's almost a reverse lever action. I do like lever action blasters, who doesn't? But this one is just on top. It's a bit, <laughs> you know, it's a bit reversed. Well, I want to, I'll show you the right way first. You grab this handle, very easy to grab, pull that back. You have mechanical advantage when you're using this lever and then you push that back forward and it's ready to fire. So what I was going to do down here is, you know, it's almost like a classic lever action, except it's on the top. But what I like about that, excuse my dry firing, is that this would be very easy for any kid to use. So that gets me really excited about this. And it's more obvious that it needs to come back and forward. That's another thing when you're introducing it to new nerfers and kids or running events or parties and they're just grabbing loners, they never know that it has to go all the way back and all the way forward. So I love anything that makes that more obvious. Enough of my talking, let's load this up. This blaster comes with two magazines, which every blaster that uses magazines, I think should come with two mags. So I think that's great. And we can load it up with these new, what are they called? AccuBlast darts. So cool to see everybody getting into the waffle head game. So this comes with plenty of darts. It comes with two mags. This is, really big too. Like this feels like a cool hefty toy. The price is really good. It is, I think $20 US. That is pretty impressive. It is a little lighter than I expected, like I say, but it feels pretty solid. I can't complain about much for that price point. Let's get some darts in it. We are loaded up. These are 14 round mags, which is interesting that there are 14s. You could probably jam 15 in there, but I put 14 in them as recommended. Clip that in there and put that down and you are ready for the moment of truth. Not bad. Always hard to aim 
while filming. But I feel like accuracy is pretty good. I would say we're getting a little bit above standard Nerf performance. If I had to guess, this is maybe in the high 70s, which is not bad, again, for a blaster for kids that has so much that comes with it. This is a fun afternoon, and you buy two of these for a couple of kids, they can have some pretty epic battles with this. This is the type of blaster that I would actually love to have maybe 10 of them in my arena if I wanted kids to have kind of more of this experience. I tend to stay away from anything that uses magazines, to be honest, because it just ends up being a lot of headache for me when I'm running a game with multiple kids. You gotta remember, birthday parties, these are not necessarily Nerf kids. It's not like you're having a Nerf event where all the kids are maybe more familiar. You got a lot of kids that are just showing up. Anyway, this isn't about my parties. This is about this blaster. So liking it so far, let's go to the chronograph. 78. Duplicate 78. 79. Duplicate 79, 75. And before I turned the camera on, I actually got an 81, a 79, a 78, and a 79. So very consistent. And there's your look at the easy fire rifle from Busby. I think this is a pretty solid pickup. I would have a little bit of concerns about durability, maybe if you were really, really rough on it. It feels sturdier. Honestly, it feels sturdier than a lot of X-Shop blasters. It feels somewhere in the middle. Uh, between maybe some of that thicker Nerf plastic and uh, X-Shot plastic. One thing I did want to say as a possible negative, whenever we're using a lever and we have, you know, lots of different pieces of plastic, which means lots of failure points, there might be limited mod potential for this. If we added too heavy of a spring load, I'm not sure that this plastic lever mechanism would be strong enough to support it. You could probably do a light mod, but I don't think without some major work or some pieces of metal that you're ever getting this up to a 150 FPS monster. But you might be able to get it up to 100. It'd be interesting to mess around with it. I do like that you can take this off. It's kind of a shame that this wasn't a barrel up here. I could see minimizing this down to something like that. If you cut that down and then put the orange tip on, that would actually be a very cool pistol. So it's kind of too bad we just can't take the barrel off, but hey, I definitely like to be kind and not too critical when a blaster provides this much value. Not because it was sent to me for free, I would have happily paid for this. In fact, I kind of regret not picking up another one, but I was trying to be a little bit frugal. <laughs> so since they were already sending me one, I didn't pick up another one. But now that I've opened it up and used it, I'll probably, end up with another one of these for sure. Oh my goodness, you guys get so cranky. If I forget to mention this, it's a thing I don't often use, but this does have slam fire, which means if I fire and pull that trigger down, it will keep firing darts. Not very accurate, but it is very quick to get some darts downfield. Also very important, and I almost forgot to say, we do have compatibility with all of our Nerf mags and the mags from this are compatible with other blasters. Always very, very important. I almost forgot to check because I assumed that it would be with N-Strike compatibility, but you know what they say about assume. One last thing, this is not an actual rail. It's just kind of a faux rail. So there is no way to add an optic or grip or any sort of tacticalness. You know Coop wouldn't like that, but I'm not too bothered by it for what all we're getting in this package. And I'm not sure these colors would be for everyone, although I kind of like it. I would 100% recommend this blaster. More reviews to come. I'm trying to do a little bit more long form for you guys. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Drop some comments if you have this. Let me know if you agree, disagree, what you would change, what you like. I think this is a pretty solid blaster. I do love my Air Warriors. Till next time. Mm -hmm.